Hi everybody, I am Kolik and this is Oxygen Not Included. Alright, so we're back and I got my showers and restrooms working. And you can see them down here, it's the same map that I was playing earlier. I've drained the water supply. I have built this nice, uh, there was a fluted water supply down here before. As you can tell, I have the drains going and working down here and kind of falling down here. This way I didn't have to dig everything out first to be able to start getting everything going. Uh, you know, so I got some oxygen producing stuff down here so that I can uh, keep, you know, well, they can breathe while they shower. Always a good thing, you know, keep breathing. All right, so now there was some problems. Go ahead and doing this, and uh, let me uh, show you what I was talking about and explain. Now, to do this, you notice I have these um, liquid pumping from over here. Nice flow comes over here, comes into the showers. All right, so. If you'll notice, if I had like uh, two guys or a guy using the shower and the restroom at the same time, if I fed them the same output pipe, these things right here would cause blockages when then they mesh together. And only one would be able to flow. And because of that, if your the shower would stop working, the toilet would stop working, then it's bad. All right? Uh, you know, people don't like that in the middle of the stuff and the shower just you know, stops working. Okay, and you know, crap starts piling up out of the shower. It's just it's, it's not good. All right, so that's why they each have their own individual pipe, and I uh, each have their own individual output section here. Now, it is a little bit uh, extravagant, I guess. Uh, I'd love to put it on this side instead, except the water source that I'm dealing with here is right here. Okay, it's very close to where I'm at, and uh, yeah, oops. Where's my base? There we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, kind of odd. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, yeah, so this is a little bit different. Uh, but I recommend this kind of output for your uh, restrooms and uh, showers. All right, now, what else am I going to tell you to do? Well, if you go ahead and go to refinement and you can make a, uh, a water purifier. I can use the water purifier then to pump this pump down here. I'm going to build a couple of them, and they'll pump the water back in over here and uh, I'll solve that issue that way. Um, I'm going to have to work around these pipes because you can tell they, they take up a lot of space. Um, not much I can do about that because I wanted to flow it to the left just because this gap is here to be honest. Um, if I could flow them straight down it would be easier. Um, but I didn't want to spend all the time mining all the stuff out just so that I could start having the restrooms and, uh, and, and bathrooms working. So, that gives you a good idea of kind of have one of the bathroom setups that you can do. Even though this is not a good place uh, to show it off, uh, this setup works. Okay, so now that I've got that done, what are we going to do next? Well, we've got to be able to produce more algae. Now, this place does have a lot of algae, which is nice. Uh, we can keep mining. And we can keep getting more algae, so that is pretty cool. Eventually, we're going to run out. We want to be able to produce slime to algae. Um, that's pretty cool. And we're going to need to work since we're now using more water. We're going to be running out of water at some point. Now we can go ahead and look around for more pure water, or we can try and set up to filter out polluted water. I don't see any more water around at the moment. Um, but yeah, you never know. Okay, so. <sighs> now I want to talk about one thing that I really haven't talked about yet, and that's pretty much uh, I haven't did not use it here, but uh, airlocks. All right, now there's two types of airlocks. There's a door also. Um, and the airlocks basically prevent air from passing from one section to the other. It's great to be able to go into uh, like a new area. You can airlock it off. Um, but it's just okay, all right? Because you guys still have to be able to breathe in there and be able to work. And an automatic airlock seems like a great thing. It's that it requires power. And it requires power constant, which means your guys to be producing this power constantly to power an airlock, which is not in constant use. Now, if you need an airlock in constant use, then fine. That's great. But if you don't, then you should be building a manual airlock instead of automatic. Now, having said that, what's the big deal? 
why would I want to build an airlock? Well, airlocks actually came pretty useful, and then one of the one I played where um, I was setting up percolation stuff and producing hydrogen. Hydrogen rises, the oxygen falls, but sometimes it goes to the right a little bit. So I put up airlocks on the side so that I could have a, a forcing the hydrogen up because it's going to naturally rise, and the oxygen would naturally then go down to the sides kind of deal. And I didn't want to be able to uh, have the hydrogen spreading out everywhere while I tried to build it up enough so that I could start harvesting it because well, it just you didn't get enough. And so I put airlocks on the side to be able to do that. Also, in another different game, I found a natural gas geyser. And as soon as you open up that area, the gas geyser just starts spewing out natural gas everywhere. And I had to wall that off, or I would have natural gas invading my entire place. And basically, my guys will all die from not being able to breathe. That's what I call a major problem. Anyway, guys, uh, that's so far most of my tips and tricks that I've discovered in uh, Oxygen Not Included. I will certainly, if I discover new things, uh, create more videos on it. Uh, if you like this kind of game, I definitely recommend picking it up on Steam. I'm sure if you can't afford full price, that it will be on sale. Usually, they'd like to do that, you know, right before an update. And they are going to be updating. They said probably like every six weeks or so, uh, with a major uh, content patch. So there's going to be lots of new stuff, and you can play around with it, give them some feedback, tell them what you like, them what you don't like. Um, yeah, this game is actually it's not that easy. Uh, I may have really seemed so, but I have had a lot of guys die. Well, a lot. <laughs> I'm good at killing these guys off. Anyway, guys, this is Kolik signing out.